All right, hey there, Brox News. This is Brox right here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Pearl Wedlock. And yes, guys, uh, just letting you know that I'm just gonna still continue onwards throughout here in the Pokemon Pearl Wedlock, just until uh, Crown Tundra comes out, because uh, we just got a release date for when Crown Tundra comes out, and that is gonna be October 22nd, uh, two days right after my birthday. That's gonna be coming out, so uh, that's gonna be pretty nice. And uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys can stay tuned for that because uh, I will be doing that as a let's play on the channel uh, soon. Uh, so hopefully we can get Pokemon Pearl Wedlock finished by the time that, that uh, Crown Tundra comes out because then we can be able to do some of that. And then once we finish off with Crown Tundra, then we can go and move on over to Nightmare Moon, which that is going to be the next up and coming big uh, Nuzlocke project that I would like to go ahead and do. So. That's going to be pretty nice. Now, without further ado, uh, let's just go and do a little bit of a team recap. So, if you guys didn't miss out in the last episode, we actually went and taken care of Crasher Wake and got ourselves another badge. So, pretty nice. We also got Rapture here at level 35, of course, with Thrash, Bubble Beam, Ice Fang, and Crunch. Still at level 35 with Payback, Rock Slide, Dark Pulse, and Thrash. Izzy at level 35 with Tizer Cannon Cut, Cross Poison, and Rest. Dumbo at level 35 with Slam Assurance, Roll at a Magnitude. Fiona at level 36 with Side Beam, Tackle, Razor Leaf, and Growth. And, uh... So yeah, that's basically everybody. Oh, and we also totally forgot about Nitro as well too. Uh, we also have Nitro level 35 with Bite, Roar, Fire Fang, and Norse Loose. So that is basically everybody on the team. And now all we have to do now is just go and talk on over to the Psyducks here. And uh, let's see if they can move on out of our way so that we can be on able to head into Fantina's gym uh, right on after this. Now the one sad thing that we don't have is actually is, is actually the uh, team for Defog. Uh, I believe uh, uh, I believe the move is actually a uh, is an actual uh, TM I think and uh, unfortunately um, since since everything is randomized the item is also randomized as well too so unfortunately we're not gonna be uh, unable to have the defog here. So yes, I can ask you a big favor. I want you to deliver this old uh, charm to my grandma in Celestic Town. So th I know that there's some rare Pokemon between here and Celestic Town, so it will be worthwhile to go. All right. We'll just deliver that old charm to your grandma. My grandma has this sort of bossy atmosphere about her, and I think you'll recognize her right away. So yes, I'm sure that you will. Uh, she's she's the elder of the Celestic Town, and and the location and look on your town map, and you can't miss it. Okay, so I'm counting on you to see you again down the road. All right, see you later, Cynthia. All right, here we go. I believe this is also a new route, or I don't think so. Not yet. So it's not a new route just yet, but uh, oh man, we got ourselves a ninja. Uh, one of the ninja chero being discovered means I must battle. Well, normally these guys normally have like Zubat, so I'm, I don't think I'm gonna be really all that too worried about it. Oh, guys, you did even better. This should be a nice, easy kill right here. We got a bubble beam. And at least the good thing is right now, we don't have to worry about uh, any type of defog. Uh, uh, not right now. I know that it's going to become very annoying uh, with a few uh, trainer battles that we do have to do when we make our uh, make ourselves all the way up to the top of, uh, of Celestic Town here. Alright, so here we go, got another Geodude, so not even having any Zubats at all. So it seems to me that unfortunately, uh, I, I don't think uh, the the whole OBS situation um, didn't uh, really last for too long. Uh, hopefully it does, uh, re uh, hopefully it does, uh, uh, can come back soon, uh, just so that we don't have to worry about having like the slow down leg or anything like that that's going on, but... But for like the past like three episodes or four episodes or so, it was actually pretty nice. Like we actually just had like a nice normal good episode. I don't know why, but I think it's just like like OBS and Elgato just don't really like Desume all that too much. But every but every single other emulator that I do is actually pretty nice. I have no issues at all whatsoever. There we go, and Geodude is down and out. So that is every single Pokemon that this guy has, and uh, we are easily finished with this. Oh, and also too, if you guys are wondering about when the uh, Halloween Marathon uh, is going to be coming out, uh, I believe that's going to be happening around October 1st. I may probably want to do that around October 1st, just so that I can uh, do some less plays for some Halloween time uh, games for you guys here pretty soon. Um, and if you guys are probably wanting to know what the games are going to be, uh, I actually do have a list that I that, that I do uh, want to do here for this time. And oh man, come on! 
Oh, I wish Kappa was a part of the next route that was happening after, not this one, because this is still a part of Route 210 still. Oh man, that's so aggravating, dude. Alright, well, uh, let's go ahead up to the top here. This should be a new route coming up and coming here anyways. Oh no, it's still the exact same thing. Alright, so never mind. Okay, so let's just go and uh, cut across through here. I believe we already got ourselves our Route 210 encounter anyways, so we don't really have to worry about that right now. But here we go. This is where the annoying stuff comes into play here, because unfortunately since we don't have defog, we can't really go and knock out any of these ace trainers, because it's going to take a really long ass time. But I just hope that I can just miss past that double battle though, because like, Trust me, I remember when when I forgot to put Defog on my Pokemon and when I did that double battle with all the Ace Trainers, that took a really long time. <laughs> so hopefully I could just dodge around that situation. And normally sometimes you can hit a move and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Defog, uh, this, this fog is very annoying. I say like for, like for the call for this game, like, like, if I have to say something negative about it, it has to be the, the fog. Like, if, if Nintendo, uh, brings out, like, a Generation 4 remake, uh, next year, hopefully, uh, with the fog, uh, with the fog feature that, that's here for this game, hopefully they can fix around that, so then we don't have to, like, miss moves, like, almost, like, 50% of the time. Because, like, uh, like, sometimes you just have to be, like, really lucky that, that, that you don't miss a move. But like, what's even worse is that if you even have like a move that is like uh, it's like a move that only has like 50% accuracy, and then also as well with the uh, with the fog on, it's just even worse. Oh, see, so now we so now we're just gonna keep on missing out here, dude. There's just no way around it. There we go. Come on, can we get a frozen? Can we get a frozen off of this grotto? We can probably get a kill off, but. Uh. Ah, you missed again! Get out of here. Uh, I don't really want to set up a... There we go, that's a crunch, and that should actually knock out the grotto. We don't have to worry about getting into another death at all, so there we go. Grottles is gone. Sweet. Alright, so Alyssa is gone. Give me all of that money. Now we just have to watch out for this double battle, though. Go, 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 run! Those guys are pretty fast. Okay. Now this is the guy with the Motham, isn't it? I think this is like the only one trainer at all in this in this game that actually has a Motham. Alright, so here we go. And it has to be a male Mothum if you want to get a if you want to get that Pokemon. So let's set up with the Ice Bang. Hopefully, well, this is gonna knock it out entirely, anyways. Because it's Bug and Fly, so it's like so it's like quite effective. Nice. Okay, and the fog is still deep, but Frogger is still in the clear. Luxio, uh, I could probably switch on out. Um, we have Dumbo out here. That is our partner Pokemon, of course. So this should actually go out pretty well. I think uh, Luxio should probably actually have Spark by now, but I don't think the move's not going to really touch us at all. So I set up with the Magnitude. To five, uh, not the best of stuff, but hopefully that can knock it out. Nice, super effective. Don't even have to worry about getting sparked or getting crushed or anything. That's perfect. And yes, I know the fog is still deep. Ah, uh, here we go. And then here goes the Onyx. Let's go switch on out of here. It's so nice that I did some of that off before grinding, because now we don't have to, like, like, worry about, like, any of these crazy Pokemon trying to do, like, like, super crazy damage on us. 
Because, like, if I actually had, like, my crocodile still around here at this point, yeah, I, I don't think we would have lasted that long. And there we go, Arnest is down. And that should almost about to give us another level up here pretty soon. Very close to it, though. But I think I'm just going to leave the EXP share on, uh, on Fiona for the time being. But, uh, there we go. Let's go and sail on over here. Whoa! Oh, we got a ninja battle. Oh. Trying to take a shortcut, but that didn't work. <laughs> well, let's see what you got. Just a dust ox. Okay, that's even a little bit better. Another bug type Pokemon, which that is fine. I guess the common question of the day would probably have to be is, uh, is what do you guys like more? Do you guys like Dust Ox or do you guys like, uh, Beautify? Let me know in the comments down below. Oh, great. And it's still... Not gonna do any good. There you go. Oh, man, it didn't do that much damage. I thought I was gonna do a lot more damage. Yeah, okay, well, side view doesn't do anything. We're not even confused, so we're good still. Alright, how about Crush? Is that super effective on you? No, that's not even super effective on you either, but it, at least it knocks you out. There we go, and that is a level up here. So I've just been watching this uh, new TV show lately, and uh, and I've been hearing it from other people to uh, for me to check it out, and... Uh, it's actually the show is called the uh, the boys. It's basically like uh, I think it's like by the same producers that uh, do Supernatural as well too. So it's actually really crazy on how uh, on, on how uh, that is uh, because like for me personally like, like like I'm a big Supernatural fan. So so just hearing about that 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 there's that they're produced by like the same people is actually pretty neat. And plus for me I, I I'm a big fan of uh, of superhero uh, TV shows so. Um, I, I believe uh, The Boys is actually based on an actual uh, comic book as well. And I don't think I've ever heard about this comic book before, so it's actually pretty new to me. But uh, let me know if you guys ever watched The uh, the Boys. Uh, I believe it's on Amazon Prime. Uh, so, uh, But you can also download it too, but... There we go, I think an Ice Fake should do the trick. Or not, it's not going to do anything. Ah, just get rid of this annoying machoke. I I I I always am in a fear of these machokes because, like, if you guys don't know, we got revenged on, and I'm pretty certain that this machoke is gonna have at least revenge. And here we go. So now the revenge is gonna be starting out here. I just hope that this ice bank can just at least try to at least try to kill it. Final throw. It's doing quite a bit of damage. I may probably have to heal back up. Well, at least we have quite a bit of hyper potions out here. I, at least I was prepared for this. Come on. Size big toss. Okay, so at least we basically know every single move that this Machoke has. Has low kick and revenge and size big toss and. All the other annoying moves, and also Foresight. Come on, there has to be at least an Ice Bag hit. Oh, come on. Oh, and Vital Throw. Okay, so it's not Low Kick, it's Vital Throw. I am just so nervous. Uh, I may probably have to switch out Pokemon out here, because that is actually going to become a problem. I did not know that Sonic's was going to do that much damage. So, so I don't think Sonic's Matosh should do that much to us because we are raw. We're ground type. Huh. What to do? What to do out here? Uh, go for a Surge, maybe? I don't think that's going to do that much damage, but... Okay, nice, it missed. 
I'm just gonna try stuff for a magnitude. See how much damage I can do for that. Magnitude 10? Okay, that could actually probably work. Yes, it does. Okay, thank God. Thank you, Dumbo. You are amazing. Okay. I really thought that that Machoke was gonna give me some PTSD here, man, because, like, seeing those, seeing that, that whole Machop family, I do not really like at all. Oh, yeah, we also have that Ace Trainer fight coming up here as well, too. Probably should get healed up. There we go, all healed up, all better now. Alright, let's go take care of this Ace Trainer. And I think there's only one more trainer left here, and that's gonna be the old guy. Those old guys also are, are, are problematic, too, because I think, uh... At some point down in Victory Road, uh, we are gonna be battling on the Empoleon. Now, this battle could go out very simple if I could just land out a dang freaking uh... Ice Fang out here, and I don't have to have an issue, but... There we go. That's simple enough. Hoot Hoot is gone. We don't have to worry about getting put to sleep now. That's why I really love Noctowl a lot. Because, like, Noctowl is one of my favorite, like, uh, Route 1 bird Pokemon. And I just really like how um, Noctowl has, like, Hypnosis and some other, like, pretty good psychic type moves. And also, I, I, I am a big fan of Owls as well. And that should at least knock it out, but I know that knocked out was pretty beefy, so he may probably live this one. No, never mind. Actually knock it out entirely. Sorry, Milo, but I had to knock you out. Okay. Well, let's go and head to the top up here. Can I dodge this guy? Turn your dang head, man. Nope. Turn it. Do it, dude. I'm not looking. Hmm. Maybe I can just try and dodge him. Oh! Come on! Uh, he just, like, just turned his head just for a little bit, and then he just automatically saw me. Ugh. These guys are the worst. The veterans. Well, hopefully this battle doesn't take too long because I just want to end this off here. Here we go, got a crunch. That should at least knock it out. And it does. I'll take that. Yes, and I know that the fog is still deep. Giraffe rig? Well, we actually do have the right, correct move out here. That shouldn't be an issue. There we go, crunch time. No, it's not crunch time. We're gonna miss it. Aha, and you also miss. Come on, get that crunch going. Oh, man, that... Fog. Oh, and they used to have a baton pass. Great. Oh, come on, really? I'm a choke now? Well, I just hope that uh, Ice Fang works. Okay, here we go. Can we get a froze off? Can we get a freeze? Come on. Ugh. Hey, we got a flinch. Nice. All right, now I just need to hope and pray that Ice Fake can land out again. Yes, okay. That takes care of that annoying Pokemon out of here. Okay, good job. Now let's just worry about this freaking giraffe right, shall we? Nope, we're just gonna keep on staying in here. Unless if I want to change up to dumb mode, but that's the only one Pokemon that I can do. Alright, only 10 more crunches left, but oh come on, man. 
Oh, and then you finally start setting them on stock. We need this move to work. Ugh. Come on, you annoying stupid fog. Well, at least the good thing is that, is that I'm not putting like any type of like status effect moves on any type of Pokemon because this would last even much longer. <laughs> Oh, great. And then now your speed is gonna sharply rose. Come on, Froggy. You're still fast. Oh. Fine. I guess we're not fast anymore. Lay it out the crunch, dude. Alright, thank you. Jeez. That is... Draft rig is gone. Thank God. Nice. Yes, so finally now Fiona's at level 38. Must have learned Flail. Nah. Gotta keep the old moves. I'm gonna wait until uh, Fiona learns Psychic, because Psychic is a pretty nice good move, and same with Leaf Storm. I'm gonna put those two moves on right out after. Oh, uh, yay, we finally made it! Uh, here we are. Welcome to Celestic Town. Out of that annoying defog. All right, so I'm gonna end off this episode here for today, guys. Uh, hopefully, you guys did enjoy this episode here for today. In the next one, we are gonna uh, be battling out the Galactic Grunt that is here. Also, get to learn a little bit uh, of some of the origin story about uh, Azol, Uxie, and also Mesprint. And then also, too, if we do have enough time, we should make our way back on down to Heart Home City and uh, hopefully try to dodge past all the trainers uh, inside Fantina's gym. And uh, for the for, and then for the next uh, episode. So that's coming after uh, the, the, the other uh, Pokemon Pearl Wedlock. Uh, we should be able to go and take care of Fantina and uh, do some other things right on after. So I'll see you guys then. Also, don't forget about the comment question of the day is uh, who do you guys like more? Do you guys like Dust Dogs? Do you guys like Beautifly? Let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys then. And peace.